I never, never imagined that it was going to be my father, you know? Only on two tonight, a grandfather shot to death in his own Southeast Houston home. He's been laid to rest now, but we first told you about the deadly shooting at a birthday party just last week. Two people were shot, including a young girl hit in the foot. And now we are learning more about the 67 year old grandfather who died in that shooting. His name is Filiberto Puente. He died after being shot in the torso. And tonight only our KPRC 2's Gage Golding is speaking with the family who is still seeking justice. He's live for us outside of Houston Police Headquarters. Engage, have any arrests been made at all? Houston police detectives tell me that they are very much so still actively working on this case. But as of tonight, they have not been able to identify or arrest the people that were responsible for shooting this innocent grandfather. But Puente's family tonight releasing brand new security video showing the exact moment he was gunned down inside his own home. This is Filiberto Puente, but most people know him as Gilbert, a man who's worked his tail off coming to the Houston area from Mexico with nothing but a big heart. He was always a person that was trying to help anybody he could. Adriana is Gilbert's daughter. Her son Michael was having an 18th birthday party at his grandfather's house on Julia Burroughs Street. As the time crept into the early morning hours of December 17th, people they didn't know started showing up. It started spreading from social media. Adriana was a few streets over. Investigators telling her a fight broke out between two girls, one of which who called someone else. This is video from Gilbert's home security. There's no sound, but you can see the muzzle flash and smoke from the multiple people riddling the home with bullets. That gunfire hitting nearly every part of this home, from the porch step to even up here on the siding, the bricks and a bullet even going through their mailbox. I guess in my mom's head, something crossed her head and she said, I'm going to call your dad. But my dad never answered. But moments later, her son Michael called. I picked up and all I did it was hear him crying, but he wouldn't say anything. His grandfather was shot twice, laying in the front hallway. Before she could run over from just a few streets away, he was gone. I see his, his face and it looked like a whole different color than his, the rest of his body. I knew, I knew he was gone. Police swarmed the home where another young girl was shot in the foot, but the shooters were long gone. Now only this video and the witnesses at this party can help Houston police piece together the puzzle of who opened fire, firing round after round into this home and killing this grandfather. Out of all the people that were here, it had to be him, you know? That he was innocent. Gilbert's family saying their final goodbyes as they laid him to rest earlier this afternoon. They now hope that they're able to turn the page, starting a new chapter in their lives without him. But Houston police detectives say they need your help. They're looking for any and all tips. If you know who was there at that party, if you know who opened fire, please call Crime Stoppers of Houston. I'm reporting live in downtown Houston, outside of Houston Police Headquarters. Kate Scolding, KPRC 2 News.